finding yourself, finding your real self, the self that's devoid of the ego, does not involve experiences. When you experience anything, it could be a vision, it could be seeing a divine entity, it could be seeing angels. This is still the work of the ego. It's not your real self. Your real self is devoid of experiences because it's called the stateless state. Um, there's no ego there. Yet, without the stateless state, the ego cannot exist. So basically, your real self allows your experiences to be. But if you identify with the experiences and think that you've seen some um, divine entity that you relate with, it's your ego. It's, it's, it's pure knowledge. It's pure, it's pure mind. It's, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's not your true self. And the way to find your true self is to ignore those experiences. Because if you attach yourself to those experiences, you'll be trapped. And you'll be trapped. Some people, you know, in the spiritual realm, they have been trapped for uh, thousands of years, you know, millions of years in reincarnation because they don't understand that any experience you go through, even if it's magical, even if you have some powers, it's still of the ego and you are still trapped in the illusion. Your real self is above the illusion, is not part of the illusion. So I thought I'd mention this because a lot of people don't understand. They expect some experience. They want experiences to validate that they're making progress. But that validation it keeps them trapped or bound.